Giles Brandreth provided insight into the late monarch's stoicism in his book Elizabeth, An Intimate Portrait. He asserted that during her final years, she battled a specific type of bone marrow cancer. According to the Queen's death certificate, she passed away due to old age. It also proved that the sole person present for Her Majesty's death moments would have been the Princess Royal, according to the death certificate, which was made public by National Records of Scotland, the Queen. Passed away on September 8 at 3. 10 p.m., Elizabeth's own words, Mail Online has obtained an intimate portrait that sheds light on the circumstances surrounding the monarch's declining health, I had heard that the Queen had a form of myeloma, bone marrow cancer which would explain her exhaustion and weight loss and those mobility concerns we were often informed about during the last year or so of her life, Mr. Brandreth reportedly wrote. The most prevalent myeloma symptom is bone pain, which is particularly prevalent in the pelvis and lower back. Multiple myeloma is a condition that frequently affects elderly people, there is currently no known cure, although treatment such as pharmaceuticals to assist control the immune system and drugs to help prevent the weakening of the bones, can lessen the severity of its symptoms and increase the patient's survival by months or two to three years. The Daily Mail's serialized royal history also covered the Queen's struggle to carry on after the passing of her adored husband, the late monarch. And Prince Philip were believed to have discovered a new comfort in one another's presence while under lockdown. As soon as the limitations were eased, they travelled to Scotland, Sandringham, and Windsor. The Queen's desire to be with Prince Philip when he passed away was also described in the biography. It stated that in the last several weeks of his life, she rarely left his side. Soon after, the Queen was claimed to have experienced deep personal sadness, but she was supposed to have found tremendous solace in her loved ones and felt it was her Christian duty to continue. Life continues. It has, she continued, after the death of the Duke of Edinburgh, Her Majesty's fondness of television dramas like Line of Duty served to keep her spirits up, the Queen detested the incessant mumbling on it and other programs, and it's believed that occasionally she found it difficult to follow the plot, which featured performers like Vicky McClure, Martin Comston, and Adrian Dunbar seek to battle corruption.